What is up guys? What is up mga karo? We're back with another video and this time pag-uusapan naman natin ay isang uh, sapatos na nabili ko sa, sa isang ukoy-ukoy shop sa Monumento about 2 weeks ago. If you haven't seen the video yet by the way check out the link in the description below para mapanood nyo at makita nyo saan ko nabili to, the location, what are the available shoes that time which I think some of those are still available dun sa store. Na yun ngayon. So, again, check out the description below para makita nyo. And by the way, just a brief introduction. In this channel, I do vlogs about sneakers and shoes. I also do some ukay ukay vlogs and outlet store vlogs. And sometimes I document my travels and other things that I like doing. So if you are into this type of contents, be sure to subscribe to the channel, especially that we're giving away a shoe. So going back, what we have here is a Nike Air Flight LE Black and royal blue that's the specific name of this shoe this was released in 2016 sometime in the spring that's in the u.s so it's about march till may when this was released now one thing that i checked immediately when i saw this shoe at the ukay ukay shop is its manufacture date and this was manufactured in august of 2015 which says a lot about how old this shoe is already Having said that though, if you take a look at this shoe, talagang makikita nyo, halos bago pa, halos hindi ginamit ng may-ari. Even if you take a look at the sole or outsole of it, and even the other part of the shoe, including the insole or the inside of the shoe, halos hindi pa siya nagagamit. So again, before buying, I also check out everything like the stitches. I also check if there's any like regluing. Uh, basically, every detail of the shoe I really check, and 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 the outsole I really check para ma siguradong okay pa siya or tatagal pa siya sa akin. Especially if my intention is to wear it and you know gamitin siya ng mas madalas. So that's those are basically the things that I make sure I check before deciding to buy a specific shoe. Now, in terms of the materials. Naginamit ito sa sapatos na to. The upper is made of PU leather, PU or polyurethane type of leather, so it's not a genuine type of leather. The way it was explained to me when I talked to a representative or a, uh, a sales staff from Nike is that it's it's a mix of a little bit of genuine leather, pero meron din siyang synthetic type of leather. So uh, having said that though, it's very nice because it's waterproof. The synthetic part of it or the synthetic element of it makes it waterproof and makes it durable, makes it resistant sa mga creases. So basically yun, kahit paano yun yung advantage nitong classing uh, quality ng leather na to. Now, as you can see, in terms of the design, I like very much the mix of white dito. If you've been a follower of this vlog, you know me that I like the shoes that na meron siyang pute dito sa outsole or dito sa midsole. Of course, it has a mix of blue, which I also like. It's it's dark, so it's okay. And then blue rin dito. And then I like the swoosh marks na naka blue then, as well as the inside of the shoe, which is in blue as well. Taking a look at the outsole of the shoe, nangyens si Nike. And then, you know, basically mix of every color that we've already or have already uh, mentioned. The tongue of the shoe is made of mesh material. Now, the outsole and the midsole of the shoe is made of rubber. If you are familiar dun sa J4 or Jordan 4, you will probably say it's similar to that. And you are exactly right. It is similar to the J4 or Jordan 4's outsole. Probably yung iba sa inyo magsasabing nagre-review ka ng isang shoe na gamit na or na matagal na or you know kind of old already. Uh, it's not even retro kind of shoe. I got three reasons basically. First is that every now and then as someone na nag-uukay shopping like yourself mga kaaro. As a lot of you mga kaaro I believe are going to ukay-ukay shops to basically buy and look for the shoes that you want. And 
from time to time makikita nyo mga gantong klase yung mga shoes na nabibili ko rin. And this video will help you at least to decide if it's something really that you would like to buy. So in a way, it's a review pa rin na ginagawa. It's a concept of reviewing the shoe na, bin, na ginagawa ng mga nagre-review ng mga bagong shoes. This time, it's just, you know, it's just an old shoe na ginagawa natin. So that's my first reason. Uh, second reason is, it's a way for me to document. And then lastly, of course, you know, kahit paano, isang content na rin magagawa natin because of these shoes. So, yeah, so basically those are the three reasons na meron ako why I'm making a review of this shoes na nabibili natin sa Ukay Ukay Shop. Now, in terms of the comfort of the shoe, uh, although they say hindi siya ganun kang comfortable, especially when you're playing basketball, maybe because the technology that was shoes or the design dati, hindi sing ganda ng mga designs ngayon na that are really, kumbaga, consider talaga yung comfort pagdating sa paggawa ng mga shoes. Having said that though, I still think that it's very comfortable at least when I fit it. At least yung nilakad ko siya ng ilang beses dito sa bahay. Uh, it feels like it's hugging my entire feet, which makes it so comfortable for me. This is size 10 by the way. Yeah, I think it's very nice. In terms of the height of the shoe, I think this height is very nice for me kasi mid-high lang siya, which means nakakahinga ng konti yung ankle mo rito, hindi pareho ng height or yung high cut, like the J1 na meron ako right there. Uh, ito nakakahinga yung ankle ko nga makes it so comfortable, medyo presko, madaling ikilos dahil hindi masyadong sikip or hindi masyadong sakal yung ankle mo. Now I bought it, natawaran ko siya, bought it for 2,000 pesos which sometimes makes me think if I consider 3 years of or 3 years old na nitong shoe na to, I'm thinking medyo mahal na rin. Although, if you think about it with the quality, halos hindi nagamit noong unang or original na may-ari nito. Uh, you can see from every detail of the shoe na halos hindi siya nagamit. I think 2000 is pretty much a good deal. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Kung namamahalan din kayo, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Well, anyway, one of the reasons why I bought this shoe is that I think this shoe will last para sa akin and it will have its space. You know, kumbaga, it will probably take some more time na talaga magluluma siya. I think in terms of fashion or discarte or forma, hindi siya mawawala in the sneaker world. Uh, kumbaga, it will always have its space. Uh, nandito yung forma niya. Hindi siya malalaos, kumbaga. Yeah, that, that's, that's basically one of the reasons why binili ko pa rin siya. Although it's not Air Jordan, it's Air Flight. For me, it's still a very nice design uh, shoe na may pagmamalaki mo. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe then. Uh, especially right now that we are gonna be having our giveaway uh, once we hit the 10K. And yeah, so basically that's it. So like the video, comment as well, and share this video. Uh, para dumami na tayo, mabot na tayo 10K. Para dun sa promo natin, sabi ko nga. And by the way, before I go, let me do our shoutout first. So shoutout kay Kaarong Niels Abayon. Ganun din kay Kaarong Christopher Sonio. Um, sabi niya pa shoutout straight from Naria, Saudi Arabia. Uh, ganun din kay Kaarong Ivan Lumasag. At kay Kaarong Johnny Tyler. Ganun din kay Kaarong Romeo Revesa. At kay Kaarong Sherwin. Imperial. So yeah, that's it basically. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much again for watching mga Till next time, see ya!